Hello and welcome to Down the Scope. Today we're going to be looking at the renal medulla and all the different tubules you can find there. In previous videos we looked at the renal cortex and the structure of the glomerulus as well as the proximal and distal convoluted tubules that we can see. However, there's a whole load of other tubules in the nephron that we need to discuss before we can complete the kidney. If we take a quick look at a schematic, we can see the structure of the nephron and try to think about the types of tubules that might be present in the medulla. First of all, we can see the proximal convoluted tubule winding its way down from the glomerulus. This becomes a straight tube that is known as the thick descending limb. Because it's derived from the proximal convoluted tubule, histologically it's going to be quite similar. The tube then thins down and becomes an area known as the thin descending limb before it does a hairpin loop and heads back up towards the cortex as the thin ascending limb. Although these regions have different names, histologically they're going to look very similar, so we won't be able to tell them apart, but we'll certainly be able to see which is a thin limb and which is a thick limb. The thin ascending limb then becomes the thick ascending limb, which connects to the distal convoluted tubule. So this is going to have a very similar histologic appearance to the distal convoluted tubule. And then the last two tubes that we'll be looking for are the collecting tubule, which is the last part after the distal convoluted tubule, and then the collecting ducts, which is a coalescence of the collecting tubules and will eventually empty into the renal pelvis. So now let's go and see if we can find all of those structures histologically. Here's a section of the renal cortex. We can see some glomeruli and proximal and distal convoluted tubules and interspersed between them you can tell that some of the orientation of the tubules are starting to head down. Now within these regions we're going to have the thick descending limbs but also the thick ascending limbs and possibly the collecting tubules. So if we start to follow these down here's a nice area. The orientation of this tubule is very different to the ones next to it, but the appearance is very similar. This is a thick descending limb, and we can tell it's a thick descending limb because it looks very similar to the proximal convoluted tubules just next to it. Similarly, right next to this thick descending limb, we have a thick ascending limb, which looks very similar histologically to the distal convoluted tubules, such as this one over here. So let's head a bit deeper down into the medulla and see which other tubules we can find. This is a section from deeper in the medulla. This area looks quite different and it can look quite confusing initially as it's a big spaghetti mixture of all the different tubules. So you just need to take a deep breath and start to find individual points that you can identify and work from there. So whenever you see clear space, it's going to be the lumen of a tubule. There's a nice run of clear space here. And then another one next to it. Some more clear space up here. So we can start to see where the centre of the tubules is going to be. And then next to the clear space, the first layer of cells is going to be the epithelium of the tubule. And this is what we're going to use to identify what kind of tubule it is. So if we take this one as an example, we've got the lumen, and next to it, there's a squamous squashed epithelium. This is the typical appearance of either the thin descending or the thin ascending limb. Then just next to that, we have another tubule. This looks very similar to the thick descending limb that we saw earlier. So this is a thick descending limb next to our thin ascending or descending limb. And in fact, most of this image is made up of thick descending limbs and then thin limbs between them. So if we take a little wander on over to another bit. We're still looking for a thick ascending limb, which if you remember is going to look very similar to the distal convoluted tubule epithelium. And here we have a lumen, the white space, and next to it these cuboidal pink cells lining in a single layer. So this is a thick ascending tubule. And just for comparison, right next to it we have a thick descending tubule, and on the other side another lumen and squamous epithelium, so either a thin ascending or thin descending limb. Now I have great difficulty telling apart a thick ascending tubule from a collecting tubule. Uh, the epithelium looks very similar, 
the textbooks will tell you that the thick ascending tubule is smaller and more regular than the collecting duct, but this can be quite difficult to tell, especially when they're in longitudinal section like these tubules. So let's just hop over to an area where they're cut in transverse section. So here are some tubules cut in transverse section. Their epithelium looks very similar to the distal convoluted tubule. And this one, for example, is quite small, has a thin little lumen with only four epithelial cells around it, uh, the same as this one. So perhaps this is a thick ascending limb, whereas over here, this tubule is slightly larger, more regular, and this is more likely to be a collecting tubule. And moving on nicely into our last tubule type, the collecting duct, there's one just next to it. So we have a big lumen here, and then lining this particular type of tubule, we've got more columnar cells with quite vacuolated cytoplasm. And if we head down right into the middle of the medulla, over here, there's going to be a very large proportion of these collecting ducts with big lumen, columnar cells, and quite vacuolated cytoplasm. So all of these larger tubules here are collecting ducts, maybe interspersed with a few uh, blood vessels here. Looks quite similar to a, a thin descending or ascending tubule because of the endothelial lining, but it's got blood in it, so it's definitely a blood vessel. And finally, these collecting ducts are going to empty out into the renal pelvis, which is this huge white space at the centre of the kidney section that's lined by a stratified cuboidal epithelium, very similar to that that's found in the ureters and the bladder. Just to summarise, there are six different types of tubule that you can see within the medulla. But of those, there's four distinct histologic patterns. First off, the thick descending limb looks very similar to the proximal tubules in the cortex with cuboidal epithelium that has microvilli lining the top and vacuolated cytoplasm. Then there's the thin ascending and descending limbs, which are lined by simple squamous epithelium. And you could, I guess, confuse them with blood vessels. So watch out for that trap. And then there's the thick ascending limb and the collecting tubules which have very similar epithelium to the distal convoluted tubule so cuboidal with no microvilli and more homogeneous cytoplasm and finally the large collecting ducts which have columnar vacuolated epithelium and are in general much larger so i hope that was a useful summary of the different tubules in the medulla and how you can try to tell them apart it can be very difficult especially in poorly preserved sections where the tubules are densely packed together. So try to practice on good sections with good preservation and hopefully you'll be able to get your eye in. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. Thanks very much for watching and until next time, goodbye.